Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 65, The Heart Thief, by S. Lee Benedict. Dang, this book was good. There are so many reasons I loved this book. The writing was fantastic. It had a great flow and was very fun and easy to read, but could also be fantastically descriptive at times, sketching out what was going on in the story. The author was really good at changing his tone and diction when the third-person point of view changed to a different viewpoint character. Even though it was in third-person, that had a very distinct flavor and great words that only went with certain characters. You really felt like you were getting the story from the distinct point of view every time, and it really gave you a way to dive deeper into the creepy world of Raps Baron. The main character, Ezra, was awesome. He is discovering some huge things about himself in this book while he and his parents deal with some powerful grief. He's an artist, too, and being an artist myself, it was really fun to read about him carrying around a sketchbook and showing people drawings of architecture he had done. Later in the story, his drawing leads to some very dark, creepy truths, but you'll have to read the book to find out about these. Also, he meets a pretty special girl in the story, and seeing their friendship develop and grow among all the crazy supernatural stuff that's going on was grounding and wonderful in this novel. I really liked her personality, and her dialogue added a lot of fun and humor to the story. There were so many themes touched on in this book, too. Family, friendship, loss, even bullying. This is a very well-written, well-rounded story with a lot to offer. I can't wait to read the second one. Touching more on the characters, there were so many great ones. I loved the police officers and the break their scenes gave to the growing crazy supernatural stuff Ezra keeps discovering. The more police procedural scenes were fun to read and really well done. I loved the two cop partners and how different they were from each other. Even though there were more minor characters in the overall story, they were fleshed out really well and I liked them and cared about them. Then there is the family of freaks Ezra meets who have many secrets that you'll have fun discovering if you read this book. I call them freaks, but they're like friends to me now, having read the book. They all have different abilities, I'll say, because I don't want to spoil anything in the story. And their story was really cool to uncover as I read through the book. I can't finish mentioning the great characters without saying how cool the bad guys were. A very powerful evil magician and his two terrifying accomplices. A very tiny wooden dummy man who doesn't let his size stop him from being someone you wouldn't want to meet and a huge, ghastly hulk of a man who can literally rip your heart out of your chest with his bare hands. I loved the dark supernatural thriller and the police procedural elements in this book. It was cool to delve into the deep, dark world of magic and monsters, and then switch to the view of that same world through the skeptical and organized view of the policeman trying to pick up the pieces after these supernatural monsters had committed gruesome crimes. This book had some pretty amazing action scenes. Guns, swords, magical energy, plants coming to life and snatching characters up. There were a lot of very intense action scenes in this book that were very exciting and very well done. All of them grew the characters, taught them things about themselves, and ramped up the tension in the book. I read this book by listening to the audiobook, and the narrator, R.C. Quartermain, was spot on for this one. First, his narration. 
He has a great, deep voice that really tells the story well. His voice makes the story very interesting to listen to. I could listen to him read fiction for hours. Well, that's what I did for this book. Then, when he does the character voices, he adds another layer of awesome to the listening experience. Some of these characters were monsters, some of them were people of different nationalities, like Irish and German, some were policemen, teachers, parents, and teenagers. He nailed the different tones for the different age groups and kinds of characters. He did really great monster voices that were very different sounding from the rest of the characters, but not corny or over the top. They were actually pretty scary sounding, which was awesome. And the different accents he used for the many German and one Irish character were great. Very well done. I particularly like his voice for a nerdy guy who worked at the History Museum. <laughs> the audiobook is a real treat to listen to and was very well done. R.C. Quartermain is a talent I plan to listen to again. The ending was very satisfying. It wrapped everything up well, but still left a huge danger that the characters are going to have to deal with at some point in the future. But the ones who survive to the end of the book are left in a great place. I love it when a book can make me laugh, even at its darkest, most intense parts. And this book did that for me, at the end. Some of the things Ezra said and the ways he reacted to what was going on were priceless and had me rooting for him and laughing really hard. It was awesome and put a smile on my face. Wow. Fantastic book. I'm looking forward to more from this author. He is talented and tells a great, dark, fun, creepy, funny, awesome story. Five stars all the way. Loved this book. Awesome. Well, I have some great news for you guys, the listeners of this podcast, because since Audible sponsors this podcast, you can get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial of their service. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get any audiobook of your choice, and they pretty much have them all. But this week I'm recommending The Heart Thief by S. Lee Benedict, narrated by R.C. Quartermain. I already told you how amazing his narration was, and it really made this already awesome book that much better, and listening to this novel was a really great experience. So go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and pick up The Heart Thief for free. And if you do that, it helps support the show. So thanks to you and thanks to Audible. Now let's get back to that review. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty long review and I don't have much to add. Also, one of my taste buds is like overblown and swollen and so almost every time I say an S, it like scrapes against my teeth and hurts really bad. So <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up. But uh, th this is, I'm going to say, um, I'm not really sure. I, quite a few people are subscribed to this podcast. But not a ton of people seem to either leave feedback or it just, I don't get a huge sense that a lot of people listen to this podcast. And so um, as I've been going through my reviews and choosing which ones to read... I have made this decision to only read the ones that I really liked. And then from there, I have so many to get through that I thought I might as well at least read the ones that I know are fairly popular books, because those are the ones where I actually tend to get at least like one comment or something. But in the case of this, because I had never heard of The Heart Thief before, um, I wanted to put it out there, even though it's not a well-known book. Hopefully someone will listen to this and go out and pick it up, buy it, or get the audiobook and give it a try because, like I said, this book was amazing. It was so much fun, really cool kind of thriller, police procedural, all jumbled into an, a really great story with awesome characters, and I just loved this book. So even though I doubt I'll get any comments or that very many people might even listen to this, Hopefully someone will and give this book a try because it was great. And if, if I can use this podcast to promote books 
that aren't very popular yet. And as I say this, this book probably has tons of reviews on Amazon. But you know, it's not like The Martian where a lot of people have heard of it, or Brandon Sanderson's novels or something like that. So yeah, go check out The Heart Thief by S. Lee Benedict, or any of his other books, because I'm telling you, he is a very talented writer, and hopefully he found the he was able to get the same narrator for other audiobooks that he has written because, man, that narrator is fantastic. I would also recommend going and getting books read by that narrator. He was great. But check out The Heart Thief by S. Lee Benedict. I hope you guys are putting together a great summer reading list and compiling a whole bunch of books to read this summer. So get outside or find a cozy spot inside and crack open the spine of a book or press play on an audiobook or swipe through an ebook, and let's read a bunch of awesome books this summer. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at DanDanTheArtMan. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.